What's up YouTube? Check it out. Troy Hutchinson here with you back on my channel. So, first and foremost, I want to apologize to you guys. Your boy has been slacking. I'm extremely sorry guys. To all you guys who are used to the daily uploads and the... It's a beautiful day outside. All the daily uploads and everything. I just... I got a lot going on right now and I want to touch on a few different things with you guys. First off, I, as I said, I'm sorry guys. I have not put a video up in like five days. I'm extremely sorry. Monday we've got some footage of us doing some chest and um, I just... I want to make another edit, so I thought, well, how about I, you know, gather some footage from the next few days of working out, and we'll make a nasty, sick edit, and just, I'm in the process of still making it. It's pretty, it's pretty legit. If you like the last one I did, this one's going to be awesome, guys. I'm hoping to top this one. Um, but it doesn't give me no excuse. I should have put out videos for you guys. I'm not going to lie. I have some personal issues in my life going on right now that I have to deal with, and I don't want to discuss them. As I said, they're personal, so I'm working on those, and what it is, is something I'm going through as, um... As an individual that I need to deal with so I'm working on that right now but uh, again no excuses so real quick I mainly what I wanted to do today was make a quick video get it out to you guys and just update you guys and let you know like I'm still here we're still pushing out content um, things are going great I mean I can't really complain things are still going great I just I let what happened is you think you have life figured out we all think we have this this image of what our life's supposed to be and we think we have everything figured out like this is going this way this is the routine this is the plan and what happened was bam I got smacked with a reality check that at any given moment in a blink of an eye things could change how you feel about something how you love enjoy something it can change in a matter of blinking an eye so you know always keep your guard up a little bit because you know, life has a crazy way of working, and I'm learning that right now. So I just, that's pretty much kind of connected to what I'm dealing with right now. I just have, uh, I got caught, you know, sideswiped by something, and it's it's not a bad thing. It's not a bad thing at all. It's just, it's all at once. And I got some family issues going on that I need to attend to. So, um, you know, they all come first. Everything, everything family-wise comes first for anything in my life right now. So I need to attend to those. That's pretty much where I'm at with everything. Other good news is my business partner just emailed me today with a finalized copy of our business plan. It looks superb. Uh, I think what we're gonna do is meet up one more time uh, and we're going to try to collab and make sure that everything's proportion, everything's smooth in it. Uh, you know, do your, cross your T's, dot your I's. You wanna make sure everything's legit with the finalized business plan before you present it to, uh, you know, who you're presenting it to. Loan officer, financial officer, et cetera, et cetera. So we're gonna get that together and hope that I can break those big news out to you guys soon too. Um, I got a boy, Adrian. If you guys remember one of my older videos, Adrian Cook, he uh, he did a back and bicep workout with me, I believe one day, or no, I believe it was an arm day. He did one of my first arm videos with me. He's back in town from Florida. He wants to do some back tomorrow morning. We are gonna get a back video with you guys. Uh, I'm just gonna tear that to apart tomorrow. I gotta to get you guys a great video out. And hopefully I can get that edit done for you guys, hopefully tonight. Uh, I had training today, so that's why I'm off right now. It's like 5.30 30 afternoon, evening, whatever, however you prefer it. But I pretty much, uh, I had training today. I was going to do a video of last night, try to get it out to you guys, but I had to get up at uh, 3.30 in the morning to go to my training for work, so I was really short on time. I literally got off at 10 o'clock, got home, settled in at 11.30, went to bed, woke up again at 3.30, so. But, no excuses, just results. That's what we're doing around here. <sighs> I don't know what else I want to cover with you guys. Like I said, I just want to make a quick video and uh, kind of just give you guys an update where everything's at. So I didn't want you guys thinking I was MIA or disappearing, but you have to understand that uh, I watched the video. I'm so sorry. German, Germanize, Germanins, I can't pronounce the channel name. I'm sorry. Uh, great guy. I watch every one of his videos. He puts out great content. Check him out. Uh, he put a video out today talking about why, YouTube, why YouTubers quit, why they give up. And as I'm watching it, he is... He had his five reasons was, uh, I believe some, there are different ones related to it. It gets hard, finances, time. Cause you gotta think guys, we have to think of content, different content that every other person is doing YouTube that doesn't do. That's hard to do. Or we have to do the same content, but be more appealing. It's hard to do. So then we do the content and we have to edit it. That's more hours. Then we have to double proofread it. Cause you wanna make sure it's legit before you put it out there for everybody to see, uh, because People in this world like to point out your flaws and errors back to back. You know, they like to point that out. They point out the 20 things you did, you know, they point out the one thing you did wrong, but not the 20 things you did right. It kind of, you know, it's kind of like a slap in the face sometimes. And he had a good point. One of his reasons, I believe it might have been his last reason, was people expect 
for you to put out this perfect content every time. Every video to be perfect and appealing and like mind blowing. And it's they get up kind of upset when you don't. And it's like, what? Well, it's hard, you know, I, especially if you're working a full time job, full time family man. I mean, it's hard. So um, this is the easy to do, guys. And then one of the biggest reasons was views. Now, I don't really suffer from that. I don't get thousands of views, but I mean, I'm, I'm doing good. You know, we're moving up and we're climbing up the ladder each time, each video, each day. And uh, I mean, he's right. It's hard to put passion and heart and dedication to a video and then get, you know, 90 views. That leaves you somewhere feeling kind of like, I'm doing all this for 90 people to watch it. And out of the 90, I think it's out of the total that view your videos, they say only 65% actually finished watching the video. So, I mean, it, it's a lot. There's different reasons why. But we're not quitting anytime soon. We're not quitting. We've been going too strong, too hard, uh, you know, for too long already. So I'm not going anywhere. It's just I have to, I'm adapting. I'm going to adapt to all this that's going on. I'm going to push through it. I'm going to be stronger for it. I already know it. And uh, it's, it is what it is. I'm going to keep pushing a keep pushing stuff out to you guys and I'm going to get back on track so and again with the website launching and which has been awesome it's just like I'm getting a little more work too and those come first so if someone buys a meal plan or training plan I have to attend to them first because they're you know they're they're buying my time pretty much for me to invest in them so that's that's where I stand on that but Again, like I said, I told you guys I promised you two to three videos a week. Last week, I let you guys down on that. I think I only got one out. And uh, mainly, I just want to apologize for that. I wanted to touch base with you guys and apologize. Say, hey, you know, I'm sorry, guys. Um, I kind of fell off my word there. But we have to understand that we're all human beings. We're all going to have times of hard struggles. And it's just, you have to adapt to them. And uh, that's pretty much all I want to cover today. I almost forgot to share with you guys. Let me get you guys here to a lower level. Let me get you to a lower level. Check this out. Your boy had an itch. So, got some, can you guys see that? Let's see if I can get a better picture of that. There we go. So, I had an itch to get some ink. You know my boys in the morning, they're um, all tatted up. Just wanted to fill in some ink here. So what it says is, I found my strength through my struggle. Now, what my tattoo says is, I found my strength through my struggle. All right, and somebody today was, told me it was after a song, uh, uh, T-Pain and somebody else. What was the name of the song? Uh, All the Above. It wasn't from that song. Honestly, I went to the tattoo shop. I'm like, hey man, I want to fill this in. I want to do it with something to do with fitness, something to do with lifting, motivation. We found a Japanese, this sounds funny and it's kind of goofy. We found a Japanese symbol for dedication. I was like, oh my God, put it on my elbow, dude, let's do it. And I started thinking like, do I really want a Japanese symbol on my elbow? Not really. So that's like a Japanese person getting like a dedication symbol on their body, like or in English. I, I don't, I don't, I don't know. I'm not really hip to that stuff anymore. So I was scrolling through my phone, and there was this long quote. It was like something, something, keeping on, keeping strong. And then the only words that caught my eye were, "I found my strength through my struggle." There was more words in between it, but I didn't want to do the full tattoo because I didn't want the words to be this small and hard to read. So I was like, man, you know what? I found my strength through my struggle. And it spoke to me because through every struggle in my life, I have found strength after push, pushing through that struggle. And for anybody that's struggling right now through a hard time in their life, or they feel like they're down, they can't get up, or you know, you gotta remember that it's through struggle and hardship that you grow. Think about it, think about this real quick. When you're working out and you're at the gym pushing that way, all right, you're pushing everything you've got. It's the heaviest weight you've ever done. You're maxing out on squat. Okay, because everyone squats, at least you should. It, you got that weight on your back, you're coming down with it, and you're just thinking, man, this is gonna crush me. And you push through it. You just PR'd, you became stronger. You Because now you're mentally stronger too, because you know you can do that weight. And you know you can move up to the next bracket. So it's, it's kind of like, you have to go through pain and suffering and struggles to grow, to be a better you to be a better you for anybody or even just yourself. So, I mean, you have to really, the, the quote really touched me because it, it's, through my hardest times, I learned how strong I really was. That's kind of what it means behind it. So, I just wanted to let you, give you guys an update, share that with you guys, show you. We're not done yet, we're gonna go back and get this all filled in here. We're gonna get the back filled in. It's gonna look pretty nasty by the time it's done. And I had to, I had to try to keep up with my boys and their bass and sleep games on point right now, so I had to try to keep up with him. Huh. So anyways guys, I've been rambling and uh, I apologize, but it's been a minute so it feels good to be back behind the camera and 
doing all this. Huh. So anyways, as I said, I just want to touch base with you guys, give you guys a heads up to where we're sitting at and what's going on. And I just feel like you guys deserve at least this much from me. So with that said, guys, I have to head out. I got to go meet my sister, get a couple things done. Um, try to spend the rest of the day with my boys, I believe. Try to spend some time with them. Got a busy week ahead of me. Uh, so got to get a lot out to you guys. So with that said, guys, remember to always... Stay grinding, stay your course, don't ever let anybody ever tell you that you cannot achieve your dreams. Because if you can believe it, guys, anything you can believe in this world, no matter small, big, medium, whatever it is, religion, whatever you want to do with your life, believe in it, you're going to achieve it. So until next episode, guys, have a blessed day and enjoy your weekend coming up. See you guys.